hi everyone said here back again with in another tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to learn about GitLab. so what is GitLab? what is git we're going to discuss about so git is a distributed version control systems uh, for tracking uh, changes of the source code during the software development and uh, it is designed to coordinate work among programmers but it can be used to track changes in any sets of files it goes include speed data integrity support data integrity support and um, distributed non-linear workflows so this is a git git and uh, what is gitlab gitlab is a web based dev oops life cycle tool that provide git repository manager providing issue tracking continuous integrations and continuous delivery so this is ci is ci oblique cd using an open source life cycle developed by gitlab inc so now you can check everything from my blog also just go to realprogrammer.in and click on search or just type gitlab you can get all uh, related to gitlab tutorials here okay so i have here you can check gitlab ssh key generate gitlab command tutorial and gitlab tutorial so just click on this now you can check everything what is git git is distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development it designed for coordinate coordinating among work among programmers but it can be used track change track changes in any sets of file it's include speed data integrity and support distributed non-linear workflow okay what is gitlab you can check from here also gitlab is web based dev oops lifecycle tools that provide git repository manager providing issue tracking and continuous integration integration and continuous delivery ci and cd this is a ci cd using open source license so now how to create this is the first question how to create gitlab account so just go to google type gitlab gitlab just now just click on gitlab here you can check gitlab user interface here the gitlab of gitlab website now click on register if you have account you just click on sign in just click on register suppose now here you need to put full name username email id and confirm email id and password and accept uh, if you don't if you want to uh, get notifications by gitlab so you just click on here i would like receive update and emails otherwise i have already account so i'm going to here now you can check my email and id uh, sorry my user id and password here so i'm going to click here now you can check project dashboard i have already multiple projects is running so now i'm going to create new project just click on new project it's taking a little bit time so now i'm going to put first gitlab tutorial okay just now just click on private if you want and you want public you can select visibility label so i'm going to here as a private just click on now uh, repository successfully created now what we need to do here i'm going to my command line terminal and whatever file you want to upload so you can upload i am going to mam stdocs i am going to create new file within stdocs folder mkdir with the name of same first gitlab tutorial okay i'm going to project folder now what we need to git we need to initialize git so i have type git initialize okay this is done 
and I'm going to put any file within a project. So git sorry touch index.html done. You can check here index.html. If you want to check hidden file, so just type you can check now hidden files also is there and uh, hope so this is clear for you and uh, some useful command here you can check git version something git minus minus version you can check this is a git version okay and um, so if you if in your machine that does not have the git so you can go directly git website the git scm.org this one and uh, you can download from this this website whatever you have machine suppose i have mac so I'm, i i need to click this one and you have uh, different machine you can click on this suppose one second here you can check from whatever you want you can check also from the description area i will share with you if i have machine so you mac so i can click here if you have windows linux you can select whatever you have so you you can download from this website okay so now i'm not wasting time here so i'm going to again my you can check for the version also i explain you and how to register as a global username so you need to write here git okay config git config minus minus global global user dot name okay whatever name you have in your system you can type here so if you want to register you can after that you can check. so i want check only so now i am going to check you can check here siddharth is my global git name okay so now email you want to just type here email you can check siddhar.shukla at the rate creative state.com this is an email id already already registered okay now if you want uh, change any ip address something so you can check if you want check all uh, global list so you can check like name and email something the, you can check my username is siddharth and my email id is creative state.com now <clears throat> I am going to again to create project so have you seen already how to create repository I have already checked it so now we need to check again I am going to get in his slide again so this in his slide is successfully done and um, okay now I am going to check status git git uh, sorry git status git status yes you can check everything here okay untracked file index.html this is not tracked file now we going to add git add whatever files we have git add space dot here all files will add now we need to commit git commit git commit minus m this is our first commit so i'm going to write first commit and hit now this also done now we need to add with the origin so you need to write here git add origin git add origin sorry remote remote git remote one second git remote add origin now this is our origin so we need to add this one https One second, I have picked up the wrong this one clone for SSS. So, git origin now enter now git origin add successfully. Now, git commit minus m. Oh, sorry, we have already done now. We need to push git push origin master enter git push sorry origin mistake origin. now this process will take little bit time so uploading is done now just check here yes you can check one files is there okay so now we need to check more things now i am going to here again suppose i am going to create new file with the name of db.php 
now what we need to again get add dot now get commit minus m db dot php successfully inserted now git push origin master this process will take little bit time we need to add whenever we push in the git lab now you can check okay last commit db dot php first commit okay just here you can check everything from here now this is done from my side now what is git fork uh, so git fork i am going to discuss about git fork the git fork is clone it emerges because you cannot push to other copies out their permission they make a copy it for you where you will have right permission as well okay so log in your account and go to pro your project i have this project already we are working on this project and uh, here you need to click here fork now i have already this group so if you want create new group so you can create okay you need to create one second uh, sorry if you don't have any group so you need to create here from here one second here new group so i am going to write gitlab tutorial tutorial okay this is done click here group is done now again i am going to our project i just came here gitlab project now again click on fork we have created this one so just click on project so the project was successfully forked <coughs> okay so now you can check from the, my website also git fork related tutorial <coughs> okay this is done i have missed i think so anything mistake from my web my website so leave it i will explain you later how to add ssh key in your terminals now <clears throat> click on merge sidebar sections and you can check from here okay now i'm going to again my one second merge request new merge request now you can check here the gitlab we have and branch is master and you want to target any project so you can select from here and master is already there and compare and continue you can do this okay you you can check everything from here now successfully is done okay close merge request first fork okay now you can check okay no
and uh, GitLab and SSH key. How to generate SSH key? Just a simple way you need to understand. Uh, nothing is worry about it. The how to add SSH key? And so just click on. I am going to my setting. I am in GitLab setting, not my setting. Okay, so here just click on SSH key. And now uh, SSH key you can check here we need to update here okay so how to generate you can it's very easy to generate ssh key so i'm going to terminal okay so i'm going to type here one second see no, sorry i'm going to type here git minus minus keygen sorry i have written anything wrong sorry ssh key sorry i forget ssh minus minus key gen ssh key gen okay so where you want to overwrite i want yes enter permission yes yes now this is done so we, where is located you can check here so i am going to for within a folder user siddharth shukla dot ssh one second okay now i am going to open sorry cd dot dot cd once again dot ssh ls you can check here i'm going to open all files subline dot you can check so what we need to do here you can check from my blog also we need to open which folder and we need to copy id rub pub so just simple process this code we need to copy and go to ssh key and type and paste automatically you, the pickup from the titles is local local machine you can check from here terminal this one okay you can check macbook air locals okay now i am going to add now you can check this is also successfully done and uh, so if you have any doubt related to gitlab you please comment on comment section definitely i will try to explain you in better way and some command useful command in get like gitlab how to check how to download version control how to set global variable okay how to initialize and you can check uh, status and commit and master branch and uh, if you have any doubt please let me know definitely i will try to resolve you your query thank you for watching if you have any doubt please comment on comment section definitely i will try to resolve your query and uh, if you want more video please comment on comment section which type of video you need definitely i will try to make thank you for watching